Hey there folks, welcome to Bristol. It's the start of the summer season. So today we're going to be taking this EasyJet A320 down to Santorini as the title of the video suggests. The aircraft just arrived off its last sector, just been emptied out and we've taken it over. So um, yeah, we're here at Bristol, let's uh, get going. Cheeky little screenshot of your name. Right, let's hop into the cockpit and get set up. I said cab there. So the IRS has been basically chopped it to realign it, which is fine. Um, and quite some route planners would I use for my so route finder asalink.net is what I use. My Apollo geese, my uh, ogies of uh, Apollo. Right, that's crashed. From experience, I know that's no factor, so I'll just go to display capture like that. Yeah, you definitely saw nothing. We're going Echo Golf Golf Delta to LGSR. And we'll do that and let it find its little journey there. So that is going to be our journey for today. Life hack here. This is a ton of waypoints to put in. What we're actually going to do is just put this in here. Uh, this is basically the string of, this is our departure, our SID, to, to Yorkie, then direct to Nutshu, then an airway to Conan, then to Cock. Uh, so this is, Cock is Coxie, which is basically over the top of um, the Netherlands. It's in the Netherlands, basically. Gebda Pablo, Elmem, that's Czech airspace, I believe. Of like South Germany and then Dubrovnik BBK and then I'm presuming ATV means we're going to go over the top of Athens uh, it, I just saw that on there and then uh, yeah I've got Tirana Athens and then into Santorini with a cumulative yeah so you've got quite a decent distance they got quite a decent distance between all the waypoints which is good um, no, I'm looking on the wrong lap. Yeah, well, eh, it'll be fine, basically, I'm trying to say. 1,500 miles, though, is our sector length. And also, our diversion is Athens, which gives us 50, 150, 180 miles, call it 200 miles to our diversion point. So, watch and learn. Um, wait and balance, please. So... What I'm going to do is do a quick little percentages for your plan here. So, as our A320 um, we have a theoretical range of 3,300 nautical miles. As such, roughly 50% of fuel would get us to Santorini. I want to make it 75% fuel, and that is to give us basically a hangabout time and some other issues there to contend with. So, that means our fuel capacity being, what are we doing? We're doing it in kilos here. So, Being a big dumb. What we're going to do is plan, and we'll just take 100. And, it's early season. We'll take 125 packs, chunk of cargo. 75% fuel. So I'll apply that, and we'll then say load the aircraft, and we'll load it in fast time, which is six minutes, which means you can get out of here reasonably quick time. What I'm going to do now that that's done, I'm going to open up the FMGC on both sides. Um, and we'll go to the Anish page on my side. Echo Golf Golf Delta to LGSR. Flight number E Z Y four two no six nine B <laughs> uh, six nine Bravo and cost index thirty one. Cruise flight level of 330. And our zero fuel weight, we've got that in here. 
308 are planned. Oh, okay, we'll come back to that once we've got our actual final load sheet. We'll, we'll, we'll give that a sec. Well, actually, we know that's going to be 13.9 is our planned block fuel. Flight plan. And we'll do a departure now. To figure out a departure, we need to listen to the ATIS. That's not the ATIS button, that's the ATIS button. Tune Bristol ATIS. Bristol Airport information, flight 10. Right so, 2 7 departure for us today. And then it's to your key. So I'm going to say no SID because, yeah. And then we'll go flight plan, temporary insert, and then from the disco. So I'm going to go, my bad. Let's do this again. Now, because I'm also on a different air rack to the, basically, my two systems on different air racks, don't do this IRL, but it's good enough for flight today. And it may give me an error like that and to ask me to input the location. Now, procedurally, most airlines do not want you to, um, to, 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 to do this, but we're going to just use a place bearing distance waypoint. So we've got Echo Golf Golf Delta slash a bearing of 1, 4 and a distance of 14 nautical miles. Typical. Oh, I know what I've done. E, cheat, cheat. Help. Bearing of correction 052. See, good job I checked that. For 14 nautical miles. that works now so we'll store that and that's basically just created a waypoint in the aircraft for the aircraft to take us over to so if I no it hasn't okay just do bear with me I'm gonna have a look at my charts Oh, that's it. That sim will do. Yeah, that sim does a good number of charts for departures and arrivals. So we what a what a watan one Zulu or what watan according to this that we should be expecting. And as for classic, we don't have any of those. So a bit a break um a break in one X-ray that would take us northbound. A Xmore would take us westbound. A Badim would take us southbound, which is not really where we're going. A Watan would take us eastbound. By process of elimination, I'm going to go after the Baddie because that'll probably be the closest to where we want to go. Insert. Badim. Yeah, roughly northeast bound out the airport. That'll do me for today. So we're now going to Nuchi. Does this have any now data in it? Bear with me. I'm going to plug this in, this in and I'll come back because I'm going to kill myself. There we go. Just like that. As soon as I left the UK, it's fine. So we'll just insert all of those and I'm going to step through in plan mode purely because all I'm doing is making sure there's no sort of like uh, basically acute angles. If there's an acute angle, you've probably made a mistake. So we tap that, we tap that and then we're going to do our next ones. So this is a bit like out the airways mode on the um, 
Oh, sorry, yeah, like the, the one you got the root page on 737. Oh, six to Otras. Let's just pick around. I'm going to just look where Otras is because I'm 90% sure Elmum is in Czech airspace. And Otras Oth 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 in Czech is. Um, okay, so it's actually it's in Austria. Austria? Uh, Liechtenstein? No, it's Austria. Just south of Innsbruck, well, southwest of Innsbruck. Which we did Innsbruck to Bolzano, we'll try straight over the top of that track we did. Um, and then after that, it's uh, ba -ba 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 Tango 307 to Durab. Oh, it's exciting being a pilot. And then we go to some direct twos. So. Direct to Mobda. So quite a few countries in Europe use open reading rates because they've, they've abandoned the airway system. So you just go direct twos to a lot of their airspace. Barpy. And basically if there's an issue they'll just radar vector you around it. Nupso. DBK. Oh. Lab, lab, lab. Ugh, let's try that again. Lab. Good. Lab good. Lab good. LEBGA. I got it wrong. Uh oh. I don't like this now. Just got insert. Then. You see all these waypoints I've put in now. It was LAL E. BGA. Tirana. That's 41. That's 20. That's that one there. Pin down. And then we go back into the airway system. So I'm going to do a quick insert just to make sure we've got all that in there. We'll do a quick again. We'll just scan through the system, make sure there's no acute angles. From Pindo, we're taking a uniform Lima 607 airway. So, yeah, we, which we actually go back onto. So airways are a bit like motorways in the sky. Is the best way to explain them. So I'm telling you that the aeroplane, I want you to go up, up, you know, Highway Nine, and then turn off at, you know, basically we'll leave it at this turn off. Is the way I'm programming the aeroplane at the moment. That's the oh, I pressed the wrong button there. That was dumb. Sometimes though. Oh no, you get. That saved us two waypoints being input. And then uniform November one three two to Tuxum. We're now in Greek airspace, so we are nearly there. Took some, and then after that, it's a uniform Tango 514 to Kaksan, and we're done. Well, we're not done, we take a sit from there after a star, but we don't, I don't do stars until we are doing our product planetary review in part two of today's video.
There we go, we'll insert all that. And that's our route prepared. So distance for 1573, 1536. So it's rounded, it's gone slightly higher, but that's probably to do with our different departure. So I'm, I'll accept that as being an accurate route route represent route, 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 route. We're now loaded, which is handy. So zero fuel weight is 61.6. And then we want our zero fuel weight center of gravity. So that's the center of gravity the aircraft will revert to or go towards as we uh, as we lose fuel. Oh, we are above our MTO. That's not good. Uh, we'll take it. Mm. What is our gross weight? Yeah, gross weight is 75. We need to lose a ton and a half. Fine. Sorry, folks. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, the captain speaking. <laughs> uh, we'll just do a quick check the reset. We'll do. We're going to take all our packs. We're going to take. A... Actually, no, we can't take it all. Up. We'll just do 108 like that. We'll leave some of the packs behind. And then, bear a minute. I put, should do the fuel first, really, shouldn't I? I feel like I'm going to land with a lot of spare, but also this is a longish flight, so. Just. And gross one. Okay, so we've got max two tons of cargo. We're just going to go straight at MTO, so we'll do a flaps two takeoff. Yeah, why is. That's. What? That's weird. Okay, so we'll just. So plan zero if you want. So yeah, 69.8. Apply and load. And just load instant. I don't understand how that got really heavy there all of a sudden, but yeah, so uh, no, our gross weight is within realms. Alright, we've set a plan gross weight was 69.8. I'm just gonna use that. So 61.6 slash just use that. Delta, taking two seven, runway surface is dry, we'll just sync the load sheet on, sync the weather, calculate, tug required, well that'll be fun. So we commit to the takeoff at 135, we rotate at 151, um, just want to see what it's suggesting for how long, our, so the runway is 2000 metres long, what's it suggesting our takeoff roll will be on this? It doesn't seem to know. Okay. Well, well, we've passed all the data on, so the the Mukdu now knows all our all our information. Uh, I am going to use flap two just to do some things a bit differently. Now, what I'm going to do is we are getting ready for the takeoff, so we've got our APU on. Just for funsies, by the way, I was going to turn take that 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 charging cable out just to show you what that looks like when that's taken out. Uh, we're going to take, yeah, so all our doors are closed, everything's pulled, park brake is going to be set for now, and we'll connect push back tug, please. And we'll start our push out. So, 2-7, um... To get to it, I want to face eastbound. I'm currently facing northbound, so I want want to face to the right. To aircraft right, I want to face to. So we're going to get tail to the left when the pushback operator is ready. And on an A A320, I believe it's always engine two that you start first. To give yourself high power and beacons come on. That scared me. Oh, there we go. We're on our way out. You know what, though. Um, this is up to UK 2000s Bristol, sorry. This is giving me throwback. So there's updates so you can check inside that walkway and stuff. But these buildings, this feel and that texturing, to take me straight back to the glory days of FSX. And I'm still not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it feels nostalgic and I like it. To be honest, a lot of this in general feels nostalgic.
and we'll just do that. And that'll do our turn now. We'll probably stop parallel to attack side, but that's absolutely fine with me for today's purposes. So we have good start on one, starting number two. Oh, that's a good shout. Turn all our fuel tanks on. Always forget fuel pumps, because I always leave them on when I'm doing a turnaround, which is obviously bad, but I just, yeah. I don't know, it's during the push out. Oh, during the taxi out. It's fine. Feels weird not having a yoke, man. So, what is our first altitude restriction? 6,000. And that's an adder. Is that an adder above? That's an adder above, so we'll do... No, that is a restriction, 6,000 feet, so I'm just going to... 6,000 feet. And everything else, we'll just... So it's your left click and your right click, which I find a little bit... Jesus! Stop! Have we just done a full U-turn on the pushback tug because I wasn't paying attention? Ha! <laughs> we have! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I mean, it gives me the choice of which way to go, am I right? But... Oh god, right, half break set, you click disconnect. Flap one, flap two, because we're gonna take I guess I'm gonna take a second lump of flap, large as a precaution, pushback tugs leaving us. We'll give him a few beats to get lost. Taxi light goes on. All right, let's taxi. Ooh, this feels a lot bouncier now. This is cool. So one of my criticisms of most aircraft I've flown, to be honest, in flight sims in the past, oh dear God, yeah, is they f it feels like you're not moving on the ground. What I mean by that is, yes, you're moving left and right, but the aircraft feels insanely well planted. This, at least when we pulled away that, felt a little bit of a wobble as we were getting ready to go. And that was quite cool. Right, let's just do, ah, oh, I'm going to ignore the company message for now because I don't care. Parking brakes off. Spoilers are on for the takeoff roll. Uh, we'll do auto, system one, auto, um, T-A-R-A, -A. APU bleed, oh, well, the APU bleed's going to come off, and I'm going to turn the APU off, it'll t take a few seconds because it's turning itself off, we'll do lights and preparation for takeoff, we're basically going to enter and go here, so like I say, when it comes to this takeoff roll, uh, it, we are obviously very heavy, so the plan is stand on the tow brakes, to, um, man flex, engine stable, toga, let, uh, the, uh, on the on toga. I let go. I let go of the brakes. Uh, okay, so it's just saying it wants flap one. Fine. Put flap two back. Oh, okay. take off config test. Go. Just wait. Just waiting for the cabin. Tell us they are free, re free and ready. So, so we're entering from the end. We are free. Oh uh, well, there's no one on the approach, so clear to enter. So what I'll do is landing lights on. Oh come on, Emily. This is annoying. What I'll do is just go on per page. Yep, yeah, per page. No, per half. Just do two. There we go. Have metal on the flap. So I'll just see if I can hurry the crew along. I'm waiting for my cabin check, but I'm just going to. We'll just. Because cabin crew aren't real in Flight Sim, <laughs> we'll just pretend that they, that they got, got all settled. So. We're on the runway, we're nice and stable. I'm going to hold the tow brakes and look down at my engines now. So, 
will advance. Toga, let's go. There's something behind my throttle quad, which is... You game you. V1. Rotate. V2. Positive right. What are we doing, aeroplane? Alright, I'm gear up. Climbing away. There we go, just fly the flight director. That's at over a thousand feet now, so I've got autopilot one because I'm fl pilot flying today. What was in my throttle quad? I can't even, uh, there was nothing in there, but it just retarded me. And I was like, what? And then he died. A few guys. We're now in the climb phase of our flight today. So you can see we just, ooh, oh yeah. A320 immersion by, um, hang on. Hi Alpha, dude. Hi Alpha. <laughs> Which I really shouldn't be high alpha it, but let's go back inside and just make sure the aeroplane's not making a pig's breakfast of things. Want to flap out? And... One aircraft 600 below, one, one th that 3000 above may be a conflict, depending on how well we climb. Flaps up. Aircraft's now climbing for 230 knots. Like starting for 230 knots, turn around course. That's the Bristol Channel. Um, yeah, there we go, we made it out of Bristol. We've got the... Come on to that, that 2000 above, because he is the one thing I'm concerned about right now. I think we'll probably be in front of him before we're at the same level, so it'll be, it'll be, it'll be his problem, he'll, he'll not be ours, but still. Um, did my wheel brakes trigger that at all? No, they didn't. Cool. So, only thing left to do now, disarm my speed brake. I'm going to keep the belt up sign on until we climb out the clouds, and I've seen this guy off. Okay, Emily has control. We are co out with him. He's 100 below. He's climbing above us now. Okay. Not the best. Watch out. I'm going to fly around behind him, basically, I think. I'm just out starring, so I'm just going to circle around behind him. We are definitely lost. That's definitely an incident. Where is he? I don't actually see him. In this cloud, it's not helping matters. Yeah, we're busting our altitude just to get away from him for now. I've got to pull it back on. We'll turn around and fly around him. This should basically send us the long way around. Any hoozles, um, I'll just scroll my altitude selector up to cruise level today. Gives the airplane back control. Now that we'll now that we're away, we'll do our after takeoffs. So that'll do. That'll do. To be honest, 
we are out of the point of having to manoeuvre much, so I'm going to... Yeah. Hit mouse button, there we go. Um, so we are now, we, we hit, we're clear of conflict with him, so I'm going to just scroll that out now, back to 40 miles, 20 miles. And what I'm going to do is, I'll release the seatbelt sign, so I'll release everyone to move around. And we'll shuffle along on our way to Santorini. In the easy jet to Santorini. So... Strobe beacons, everything else stays flat. Uh, what do we got there? Barrow ref, that's fine. I think it's that error message. It's because you can't press it, can you? Because you're you. But fun little fact here, by the way, right? Before we took off, I disconnected the um, EFB. It's gone down to 85% charge. That's quite cool, right? Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to fly on our way along and uh, enjoy getting up to altitude and enjoy the ride. All right. Thanks for watching part one of today's video, guys. Come back tomorrow for part two, where we'll fly over doing our approach and landing into Santorini. Bye for now.